back into Kelb. Uh, I'm tempted to stay here overnight. At the very least, I'll sit here and rest for about an hour. It's only 9.30. Dickens is 42 miles from here. About five hours ride. I'm going to look at the map. And it comforts me to look at it when I'm traveling. I don't really need it. I know I've done this route twice already. It really is kind of forgiving. It, it, this is one of the best roads that I've ridden on in uh, Illinois. Something about it. The one over there from Joliet into uh, Rockford is really good. It's got shoulders the whole way. This one gives out a little bit, but even the ones where the shoulder gives out, it's a hard-packed gravel. Really hard. It's almost like asphalt. So, yeah. Something to be said for that. Because some of these roads here are just terrifying. I need a good road, too, with all this crap on the bike. This shit's just... Are <laughs> you seeing that crap? Look at that. It's crazy. i got to get a kayak. Or get rid of that. I do. One of the two. There's no way I'm riding all the way down to Texas with that thing. It's just not going to happen. I'll hide it someplace on the Mississippi River if I can't find a kayak. The farthest I'm going to ride with that on, like that on the bike is uh, Burlington. If I can't find a kayak in Burlington, I'm giving up. We'll see. We'll see. But if I don't get a kayak in, in at least Burlington, it's like, <laughs> what am I going to do, buy a kayak and only go a couple hundred miles? Well, that's all I did last time, but I hadn't planned on it. I don't know how far I planned on going. I was going to try to make it all the way past St. Louis. I was thinking of, uh, what is it, uh, St. Gerard, uh, uh, Cape Girardeau. That's what I was thinking. I wanted to get past all those bridges in St. Louis and the arch. I'd like to do that again. That's what I'm shooting for now. Yeah, at least. Well, we'll see. At least I got the show on the road. I'm out of the Chicago area. It's definitely on and crack it now.